What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We were about to go bass fishing, and notice we say I said were. Um, I don't really know why I said that, because we're actually still going. But anyways, as you can see, it's a pretty overcast day, like an extremely overcast day. That's the that's the cloud. And so I was like, great, we're gonna go out to the backwoods pond. And then I remembered something. That's probably not a good idea. So it's actually muzzleloader weekend. This is actually the first chance anybody gets to hunt with something besides a bow. You best not be going no backwoods pond, son. You will get shot. So I've opted out of that plan. We're going to a different pond. It's a pond that has great potential, but comes with great risk. You could have your potential PB. You could also have a potential nothing. Here it is. It is the secondary pool pond. I'm just kidding, guys. We're not fishing here. We're fishing in the primary pool pond. If you look really closely, you may see a big lunker tadpole. Yes, that's right, guys. We're going to use our mystery tackle box to catch him. I'm just kidding. We're actually going down to my pond. Now, y'all know it has some big fish, but you got to be smart if you want to catch them. But before we do go down there, we're going to look in here at the fishies. This was Project Save the Minnows. We done this. We saved a ton of minnows. And, you know, since it is overcast, uh, it's, it's kind of letting you know that it rained. Also, that water puddle over there is also letting you know it rained. So that means that the creek is pretty well good. We're not going to move these over to the creek just yet. I mean, I want to keep them a little bit longer until I can find a good day to where it's not so wet that I'll fall in the creek myself and maybe drown. We're going to wait another day or two, but let me tell you, the creeks are rising... We're good for the minnows. We literally saved them. And those two endangered species, which y'all corrected me, and apparently they're not endangered at all. Like, there's millions of them. Kind of ruined my day, but besides that, I had a good time. Now let's head on over here, open up our mystery tackle box, and see exactly what's in it, because I, I kind of peeked in it, because I'm a cheater, I guess, and there's a bait that I really want to use. There's actually two of them, and I can't decide what I want to use yet. As we open up the mystery tackle box, I done told you, I already opened it up. Let's see what we got in it. The first thing, it was kind of like, eh, I really want to use it, and I still think I may. It's a bobbin frog. Can y'all see that? No? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't care. There it is. But it's basically like a little frog, and I think that's going to be dynamite right now, especially at that pond. The second thing I was kind of thinking about using is another topwater, except it's like a booyah pop R, but it's not a pop R. They call it the prank. Next up, we have a little uh, square bill crankbait. That's really bomb right now. Like the, the good thing about Mystery Tackle Box, I've said it before, and let me tell you, I'll say it again. They're not going to give you a topwater frog if the topwater is three inches of ice. Then in here, we got a jig. I may use that. That's actually a swim jig so may end up using that and then we got a chatter bait which is also super good and some daiichi hooks to sample out and see what we think about it. and while i go ahead and tie it on i'll tell you a little bit about how you can save money if you want one of these yourself if you don't know what mystery tackle box is mystery tackle box is a subscription based company oh this is so neat it's so small that's literally perfect what they do is they send you a box of fishing baits each and every month like all the boxes i do is bass fishing they also do pan fish ice fishing if like you live in Alaska or something. And they even do catfishing. But if you'd like to pick up a mystery tackle box, use promo code GRAYGANG, all caps, at checkout. Also use the link in my description. And let me tell you guys, that'll get your first box as low as $5. But without further ado, guys, let's come on in here. Let's tie on this frog. I think we can seriously do some damage on this. But one way or another, the ending half of this video is a moto vlog with an off-road vehicle you very well may have never seen before in your life. It's pretty epic, guys. Alrighty. Here we go. Little frog lure. Let's see what we can do. This has a lot of potential. Like, I know that frogs are one of the main forage in this pond. Ooh. There we go. Let's see how it works. May not take long to, at all to get. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! I was right about that, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It don't take long to get hit. Awesome, guys. That's great. Oh, yes, yes. Sweet. He's a nice little bass fish. Also known as largemouth bass, largey, big mouth bass, bucket mouth. Ah, it's a green thing. Tank. Mammy's worst nightmare. Fish. Mammy's best friend. The lean, mean, pickle loaf eating machine. <laughs> there we go, guys. That was literally my first cast. I am actually standing up in the back of the mule so I can get a lot of like, not really leverage, but kind of a really good angle on them like I am in a boat. But as for this guy, we're going to name him Jimothy. Not Timothy, because we named about 17 fish Timothy, Jimothy. I like it. 
I like it. Now we're here with Ethan, all right? And here's this dirt bike that is literally the size of a horse. But that's not what the video is about, okay? Where did you get this thing that we're not gonna say just yet? At a guy's house. Some random old guy's garage that he didn't even know we had. But we got it. We have, I don't even know what this is. Can you tell these guys what it is? It's some three wheel, four wheeler looking thing. It's a 1985. Honda 125M three-wheeler. They stopped making these because they were so easy to flip. Collarbone broke every time. Cars, one kind of leaks, but other than that, she runs like a dream. I'm gonna be riding this thing a little bit. I'm gonna take it easy, because I don't I don't want to flip. Just go 100% safety, but just a little run down of it. 1986. 85. Some random guy had it in his garage. Didn't even know he had it. I don't know, guys. Let's throw in the chest cam. We'll ride around a little bit. We'll see what happens. Who in the world knows what may happen? Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. All right. I don't know what in the world this is, but we're going to try it. Oh, my goodness. What is this space age technology? Let's take it down this way. Oh gosh. I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this. What is it? 78 years old? We're not gonna go that fast, but I'll give it a little gas. Oh snap. Oh, snap. Uh-oh, getting crazy going between targets. You can feel every single bump. This ain't gonna feel good. Oh, oh! Okay, okay. Okay, so first impressions, it has about zero suspension on it. There's none. Also, this tire is a little low. We aired it up two minutes ago, and it definitely drives like this. But besides that, it has been deemed death trap. I literally thought I was about to die whenever I was trying to go around that hill. It wasn't doing the best. I thought you was doing pretty good. Yeah, I could, I could, no, not really. Thanks for watching, Craig Gang. Make sure you go down below, like, subscribe, get some awesome merch at kennelgrave1.com shop. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Rick Gang.